Three bench press mistakes that I see all the time, which is gonna make a big difference next time you're benching. Number one is just your wrist position, okay? A lot of people you see with their benching, the bar is sitting on the palm of their hand, which means there's nothing below, the bar's pushing down there, there's nothing below there supporting it, which means just pulling through the wrist, uh, the, the muscles, sorry, in our wrist. We wanna rotate that and just have that bar sitting on the heel of the hand. So now the bone is supporting that bar. So if you come around, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So, uh, uh, a lot of people, Wrists will be sitting back like this, or sometimes they'll start like this, but whenever they come to the bottom, those wrists tend to bend back, which means it's pulling through the muscles in our wrist. We wanna make sure to have it stacked, like here, so that the bones or the arm is supporting all of the weight as we press, okay? Number two is just a lat engagement, okay? So a lot of the time, people aren't getting their lats engaged whenever they're pressing. It's gonna make a big, big difference. You find people sometimes when they're pressing, as they come down, they're not engaging their lats, their elbows are coming out to their sides, which can be damaging to your shoulders as well. And we're not going to be as strong in this position either. All right, so we want to make sure we breathe in. We're, imagine we're trying to bend the bar, like you're trying to snap the bar like this. Like we're trying to break that bar, okay? Getting those lats engaged. Straight line down to the chest. Elbows are at 45 degrees. Exhale as we press. Breathe, snap, control down press. Okay, you'll find sometimes when people are pressing as well, if they're not engaging their lats, it could be a little wonky, or one side's coming down, or one's going up before the other, they're not getting that engagement, so it's not coming down at the same time, nice and level. Okay? Now the third mistake I see people doing is not using their legs whenever they're bench pressing, okay? So, you'll find some people, you know, they've got this sort of power lifter stance where they're coming in, they're bringing their feet in really, really close, they've got this big, big arch in their back, you don't always have to take this sort of stance, like a power lifter stance for like a one rep max. You don't really have to be taking this sort of stance whenever you're bench pressing, but you do want to be making sure that you are driving your feet into the floor. So you want to bring your feet in close enough that you can dig them into the floor to help with that press. So, position on the bar. <clears throat> your wrist position is correct. We breathe it in, we're engaging them lats, we're snapping that bar. We got a nice straight bar path down to our chest, and then as we are pressing, we're digging our feet into the floor as we press. It's gonna make a massive difference, especially when it comes to those last couple of reps, okay? Breathe, snap, down, dig the feet in to help with the press. Almost like you're trying to, almost like you're trying to slide yourself up the bench as we're pressing those last couple of reps. So give these little tweaks a go next time uh, that you're bench pressing and see if it makes a big difference.